Dust storm season has come early to Jezero Crater. Winds have dumped an unprecedented amount of sand on the Perseverance rover, disturbed its surroundings, and grounded the Ingenuity helicopter on this episode of Mars Guy. Just over a month ago, Mars was still in its season of water ice clouds that form from the sublimating ice of the North Polar Cap. Check out episode 39 to see them in images from Perseverance. A few weeks later, dust clouds were moving toward Jezero Crater, well ahead of the typical dust storm season, and then covering the whole region. Perseverance uses its wide-angle view from the NAVCAM for routine monitoring of the atmosphere. Here's what that looked like just before the dust storm hit. On the next SOL, the sky had brightened from the dust in the atmosphere scattering sunlight, which made the ground look darker. Later that afternoon, dust had increased near the ground enough to obscure the mountain on the crater rim about 44 kilometers or 27 miles away. Other parts of the rim also were obscured. Earlier that saw back toward the delta, the NAVCAM shot a set of images to monitor for dust devils, and it spotted all sorts of wind activity. Here's a nearby ground-hugging dust cloud that moves to the left in this set of three frames, each taken about a minute and a half apart, but sped up here. Next up is a diffuse dust devil just outside of the CETA terrain, caught in only a single frame. Then another dust devil pops into view on the crater rim and can be seen moving down and to the left. At the same time, another dust devil is active on the crater rim above the delta and dissipates over the course of three frames, so about four and a half minutes. So all of this action is probably how the dust got thick enough to obscure the mountain. On the next sol, the dust had gotten a bit thicker, obscuring more of the crater rim. Sol 315 looks like the peak of the dustiness. It was on that saw that the little piles of powder formed from the sample coring operation got hit by wind. Here's a rock hammer for scale. They were taken down over a couple of saws, but there's not consecutive images that document this. Up on the rover deck, evidence of the power of these winds was first seen in views of the MassCam Z calibration target. Sometime after 12.10 p.m., when this image was shot, and the next sol at 10.48 a.m., dark sand was dumped on the cal target. But that's nothing compared to down on the lower deck. It looks like someone shoveled sand onto it. Martians, maybe. No other surface mission has ever gotten hit with this much sand all at once. And it didn't just come skittering across the deck. It got dumped on from above as evident from the way it filled in enclosed structures. This is especially true back at the power generator, which is about a meter and a half or five feet above the ground. Lots of sand got dumped onto it too. By saw 316, the dust had cleared enough to show the mountains of the crater rim, and by saw 323, the sky was pretty much back to its normal dustiness. Meanwhile, the Ingenuity helicopter weathered the storm hidden from view of Perseverance about 500 meters to the northeast, about a third of a mile away. It was scheduled to fly on SOL 313, which was right when the winds started to pick up. But the team was watching the data from Perseverance's weather instruments and the satellite images, which were looking bad for flying. So they grounded Ingenuity, which turned out to be a great decision. The next flight is scheduled for no earlier than January 23rd. 